another video uh, on this video uh, short video I'll be going over um, creating a ASPX page or web application uh, and it will show how to pass values from one page to another and we start with a blank project Call it pass values. C for C sharp. You can name it whatever you want. So here we got the default page. So I got nothing here. So the idea is for you to pass values from this page to a second page. And I add another page. We'll call it second page. Got it. So here on my first page, I'll just go here and I'll draw just drop a label here with a label. And I'm gonna Set the value to from default page will name this guy just to keep it simple. So after this, what I'm gonna do is drop a button here, and we'll just say we'll just leave the ID like it is. So the idea here is that when I click this guy, it should take me to the second page, and I should be able to grab. Uh, this value which should be from the default page so you double click and over here <coughs> we want to go to the other page so what we need to do is really simple we, we're gonna use the response the redirect and we're gonna pass the string uh, URLs in a string format which is second page dot ASPX. Then we follow in order to pass an argument or a string a query, we're gonna use the question mark. Then we're gonna select or create a variable to hold our value. In this case, we'll just call it uh, uh, label. Call it label two. Something like that. you can pick anything you want. Then we're gonna say equals. We're gonna close, and we're gonna do plus. And here we pass. We grab the value. We call label dot text. it so <clears throat> we're gonna pass to this page to our second page a variable well this guy is like a value holder it will hold the value on the URL and it will grab the text from this label now oops I'm gonna run it like it is right now without grabbing the value here just to test it out so we sh it should take us to the default page like it is right now so when I click go to next page you should see the 
the variable, the value on the URL. You see, it gave us that was expected. It took us to the second page and it's, it has the label value, the text from the label. See, from the full page, that's the same value over here. Now, I want to grab this value into my second page. So I'm gonna close this guy, stop this guy. Now I want to second page. And here we need to go to the code behind right here. So when we load, we're gonna let's, let's get a control or something over here so we can get a and you can pick anything or like a label or a text bucket it still work. We just put a text box. Let's call it text box one. That's fine. So here, when the page load, we do request that or a string. So just here that it will collect the HTTP query string variables that we're passing from the other page. And here it takes an index and the thing is string name which is easier and that string name is this guy this guy so whatever you pick here needs to match with with this argument here that means you're calling you want the value for this <coughs> query so that's it. Now when we pitch when the pitch low we wanna pass it to text box one. Text box one. Text. That's it. So we we'll run it again. Oops. We got to pitch two without even going to pitch one. So we need to say to the project here, star, say the start page, the default page. So we don't have to go to the second page by mistake. So here we go. So click, see, we got this value to the text box, to the second page. And you can pass uh, other values, but it has its limitations. But for simple uh, values you want to pass, it's a good idea to use this. And also what you can do is you can encrypt uh, this value. And on your second page, you can decrypt it. Um, <clears throat> but it will be, it's not a good idea for the public. But if you have an internet, internet that you're working in, since it's private, it should be okay. I uh, hope this video was helpful <clears throat> on how to pass uh, values from one page to a second page using uh, the request that core string that Microsoft provides on this class. Thank you for watching.